Mm. Eleanor wants to answer that question. For regular classes, we have an idea like a course uh, for four weeks. Each month we do four weeks course and it's specific. We work with a specific thing and um, yeah, but on the, the seminar, you don't have this chance to, I mean, to continue with the four weeks. You have just one, two, three days and you, maybe you will not see that people again. Maybe you will see, maybe some they will follow. And uh, we're trying to adjust. We, of course, we have specific things for the um, for the topic, I mean, for the class, but sometimes we created something very interesting, but it maybe it will not work for them because they have different levels and we have to adjust. We need to decide right in the, you know, in the same time what we're gonna do. So yeah. Well, like. when you work with, with a group of regular students, um, where we are from, from, from New Jersey. We do not teach that much in New York, but we are close enough to New York. So our base is in New Jersey. We know our students very well. So we, we have an idea what they can handle and what they cannot handle. Mm -hmm. It's yes, it's slightly different when you travel, especially if you are at the festival and uh, you seeing the group for the first time, and maybe you've never seen these people before. It's very important for us to ask them to dance a song or two, just to get an idea of what is the level and how they move. We must always adjust the material that we want to bring to them according to the level. But we have a formula here as well. We really do not focus on, on the sequences or the figures as much. We always start classes with a few exercises that will help the student to not only get to the final idea, but also to actually learn some very important tango principles. In that sense, it does not matter if the level is lower or higher because these exercises, they could serve any level of dancer. So some of the exercises are partnership and some are solo without a partner. And through the exercise, we guide our students to the next idea and to the next idea. So they build a solid understanding of what it is we're actually doing here in tango. And at the end, it almost seems like... And it's clear idea. The topic yeah. almost didn't matter because we needed the topic as an excuse to teach people how to dance tango better from our point of view, through our perspective. And um, it's, uh, it always ends up being uh, something that starts relatively simple and goes more and more and more complex. So if there are advanced students in the class, they always get some piece of information towards the end that is more challenging for the rest of the dancers. And private classes, well, that's a whole other story because uh, here you have to tailor your approach very, very specific to the individual. It's almost uh, as if, um, I think it's almost like a psychologist kind of work where you have to know the person in order to teach that person to dance better. You have to uh, be able to speak like friends, to understand each other, not just to be a professional and a student. You have to come to a certain level of understanding where the student is at comfort with you and then receives the information easy and trusts your ideas. So um, most of our students, when, they ask, when we ask them, what would you like to work on? Most of them would say, whatever you believe. Is, yeah, is so needed. you so dance it's, it's, it makes and you feel, you easy. say, yeah. Yes, because there's a great deal of trust in a, in a in a personal private class. So we have personal touch yes. for each person, yeah. I would say so. Yeah, yeah. If somebody decides to come and take a private class, that means they already have a clear idea why they want to study with Leonora or with me or with two of us at the same time. So they kind of know what is it that they want to take from the class. Um, what they don't know is they don't necessarily know how to get to where they want to be. And this is where we help. We give them an idea uh, to get in the direction they're going. So there is always something that the student get out of the class. Uh, sometimes it ends up being that they want to do A, B, C, D, and so on in the class. But we go so into the basics of things that we end up just doing very fundamental things instead of covering everything in one hour. But the student is never disappointed because of that. Yeah. I think once they realize how important the fundamentals are and they could feel the change in their dance, 
um, I wouldn't say immediately, but they, they could feel it could be better if they work on it. Then uh, this gets students inspired. Actually, working on technique could be very inspiring for students. Absolutely, I agree with you. Yeah. Yep. 100%. Yeah.